I have agreed GWH 24 ACD 3 DNA 2 D mini split. It is not heating or cooling. The indoor unit has power and is displaying E6 on the display. I have already disconnected the power for 10 plus minutes, however, it didn't resolve the issue. What does E6 mean and are there steps I can take to troubleshoot slash resolve this issue? Next thing to check is the wiring connections between inside and outside unit. Looking for wiring diagram now so I can be more specific. I verified that the connections between the two units are good, nothing is loose. There is a terminal block on the outdoor unit under a cover. This is where I verified connections. When you reset power did you restart the system with remote? Yes. System was off and indoor unit power light was amber. When I hit the power on the remote, the GHT went green and the air deflector opened down. Unit was set on heat and temp showed up on display. After about 3 to 5 minutes, the E6 light came on and the power light started blinking, 6 blinks followed by 3 seconds off, repeat. Looking over manual, one moment. Going to give you a link to the manual and reference pages instead of typing all this out. Okay. Basically if getting communication error if wiring connections are okay it is most likely the main board on the inside or outside unit. If you haven't done so already please replace batteries in remote and reset power and try again. Low remote batteries shouldn't give this code but I have seen them cause unexplainable problems. The batteries in the remote are new. Okay thanks. Getting link to the manual now. I found a service manual for agree unit that is similar, error code and symptoms match up. It also suspects one of the main boards, however, it says to check if protective tube fuse 1 has open circuit. If so, replace it with a protective tube fuse of same model. Above is the link to manual. On page 52 it is troubleshooting chart for E6 code. Any idea where the tube fuse is located? Looking through manual now, so far I have not located any fuse, on possible problems so far, besides wiring connections, would be bad board or bad sensor which would have to be tested to confirm. Still, looking over diagram for any fuse or other possible causes. Is it safe to assume that the problem most likely lies with the outdoor unit since the inside unit appears to behave as expected? Meaning, when unit is first powered up, I am able to switch between functions, as seen on the display, and change temps. If main board was bad, wouldn't it most likely not be responsive to changes made by the remote? Not necessarily, any circuit on the board such as the communication circuit could go bad, but more times than not outside board goes out before inside mostly due to conditions, humidity, moisture, etc. I am going to run out to and disconnect slash reconnect the wire on terminal 2 of the outdoor unit. It appears to be the one that carries the communications between the units. I am also going to verify ground. Is that how you read the diagram on page 12? Yes on page 8 it shows that 2 is communication. Make sure the power is off while you check the connections. Just reconnected all connections between the two units and put power back to unit. Any change? Turned unit on with remote. Waiting to see the outcome. 
Indoor display is normal right now. Waiting to see if it starts heating or kicks into E6. E6 just showed up. That confirms it probably isn't connections and is probably one of the boards. Guess I need to be patient and wait for my HVAC guy to show up. Yes, sorry, it wasn't something we could get going. Make sure to bookmark or save that manual to favorites for future reference. Yes, thanks for the manual. Hopefully it will come in handy in the future. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.